Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will solve another truss problem. We will analyze it using method of joint to find internal forces in each member of the truss. So, we will do step by step. First, we will label it. Let's say this is A, B, C, D, E and F. Right? So, this is member A, B, B, C, C, D, E, D and E, F. We have another member here also, which is B, E. So, the truss, total truss is like this. This B, E is also a member. Now, how we will find? Again, reaction forces are given 10 kN at point A, 10 kN at point B. The length of each truss is 5 meter, you see here, and the height of the truss itself is 5 meter. So each member is 5 meter here, and the height of uh, the whole truss is 5 meter. So we will need to find angle, and that angle will be, let's say this one, it is theta. So theta here is equal to, I will find here, tangent inverse height of this triangle, which is 5 divide by the base of this triangle again which is 5. 5 by 5 is 1, tangent inverse 1 is 45 degree. So if this is 45, this is, we see it is 90, this one will also be 45 degree. So we found theta. Now we have to select a joint with minimum unknown and use method of joint to find the unknown. If I take joint A, which seems the simplest one, it has only two unknown, I can easily find those two unknown, right? So joint A, I will draw the free body diagram of joint A, which is AB, AF, and we have this force, 10 kN, and this theta, 45 degree. If you want detailed step-by-step -step method of procedure, the method of uh, joint, you can watch the previous video where I have explained step-by-step -step how to uh, select this step, how to go from one step to another step. Here I am just solving this problem, so I will move a little bit faster. So we have these member. Now to find AB and AF, we have to take the condition of equilibrium, right? So AF is not exactly acting in horizontal or in vertical direction so we can find its component we have a f cos theta and we have a f sin theta as well so to find a b or a f what i can do i can take some of the forces in the y direction to find a f let me take some of the forces in the y direction equal to zero Right? So what are the forces in the y direction? Look here. We have 10 kN acting upward minus AF sin theta. And that's it. Equal to 0. There is no other force in the y direction. So AF from here will be equal to minus 10 so if AF, I am keeping it positive here, so then 10 will also be positive because AF, let's say I have brought it here. So it is equal to 10 divided by sine theta. Theta is 45 degree. So AF from this, it will be equal to, if you divide 10 divided by sine 45, it is 14.1. And it is in tension, right? 14.1 kilo Newton in tension because it is positive. So this is how I found AF. To find AB, I will take some of the forces in the x direction. So sum of the forces in the x direction equal to 0. So what are the forces in the x direction? AB itself plus AF cos theta. Is there any other force in the x direction? No. So 
this will be equal to 0 a b is equal to minus a f cos 45 and a f we know it is 14.1 so you just put 14.1 cos 45 you will get a b which is equal to minus 10 kilo newton it is minus so it is mean it is in compression so we found a b also right now to find b f and let's say f e we can solve joint f right let me draw three point diagram of joint f again i will have f e i will have b f and i will have this one a f right i have a f also so to take some of the forces in the y direction i can find let's say the f e right how i can find look again for a f we will just let us take this theta so we have one component a f cos theta and one component a f sin theta here so if i take some of the forces in the x direction some of the forces in the x direction equal to zero so a f cos theta acting to the left so minus a f cos theta plus f e right and that's it this will be equal to zero so a f we know that a f we have found we are here which is 14.1 uh, kilo newton and tension so i will put that 14.1 so f e is equal to bring this one here so it is a f cos 45 and a f is 14.1 just put here multiply with cos 45 so you will get f e and f e is again it will be 10 kilo newton in tension it is positive, so it is intention. So we found F E also. What is left at this joint? B F. We need to find B F. So how to find B? Look, if I take some of the forces in the y direction, I can easily find B F. Some of the forces in the y direction equal to zero. So what are the forces in the y direction here? B F and plus a f sin theta equal to zero this is the only uh, forces in the y direction so we want to find b f b f equal to minus a f sin theta so b f equal to minus 14.1 times sin 45 and b f is equal to minus 10 kilo newton compression bf minus 10 kilo newton compression so we found bf also now we need to find other member let's just move to joint b if we move to joint b we can find bc and we can find be these two members we can find right so i will erase this joint and i will draw the free body diagram of joint b so this is i have bc i have be we have this downward force bf we have ab and we have this force 10 kilo newton so here again i have assumed all are in tension right some of them are in let's say in compression but we will use that negative sign here we have assume again you can use the other direction let's say someone is in some member is in compression you can use in compression towards the joint 
but let us assume all are in tension and then we will see how we find BC and BE. So we want to find BC. What I can do? Look here. We have only one force which is acting at some angle, this one. Then it is making theta, the BE. So we will have BE cos theta here. And we will have this BE sin theta. Right? So these two we have the cos and sine component. Right? We have run joint B. We have the cos component of B. E, we have the sine component of BE. Now we want to find BE and uh, BC from here. So how we find BE? If I take some of the forces in the y direction equal to zero, so I will write all the forces in the y direction acting at joint B. So what are the forces? 10 kN is acting minus 10, right? This is acting downward, so that's why it is minus. Then we have BF. BF is acting downward, so 1 minus will be because it is acting downward minus BF. Now BF is how much? We have found BF here. It is in compression minus 10 kN. But here we have assumed that it is in tension away from the joint. So this minus we will put again. Right? So we will put minus into minus 10 again. Right? Because of the compression we will put this another minus. And then we have the BE sine theta which will be negative again because it is acting downward. B E sin theta and it is equal to 0. So this is minus 10 plus 10 minus B E sin theta. So this minus 10 plus 10 will get cancelled. We can say that minus B E sin theta is equal to 0. Now if and we can remove the minus, we can just say B E sin theta is equal to 0. So what does it mean? It means that either sin theta which is 45 sin 45 this one is either 0 or BE is 0 so sin 45 can never be 0 right so it means that BE is 0 so that means that the member BE this one is 0 member it will not have any force so BE we found now we need to find BC so BC how we can find if I take some of the forces in the x direction equal to 0 from uh, like a joint B. This is joint B, right? So let me write all the forces in the x direction. So what are the forces? BC plus because it is acting to the right. So this is plus and then BE cos theta is also plus. And this AB is negative because it is acting to the left. So minus AB equal to 0. So BE is 0, we already know it is 0, so this term will be 0. So we say that BC minus AB equal to 0. So BC is equal to AB. Right? And AB, we already found that AB was 10 kN compression. So it means that BC is also 10 kN in compression. Right? So from this what we have done, we found this member, this one, this one, here, here and here. All these we found. But if we look into the truss, the truss is symmetrical. If you look at joint D, it has 10 kN. Here joint A also 10 kN. C also 10 kN force downward. And B also 10 kN. Downward it is acting. So from this line if you see, this side is symmetrical to this side. So mean this member which is ED it will be equal to this member which is AF. And this member which is CD will be equal to AB. Right? And this member which is CE will be equal to BF. And the remaining in the middle we already found here. So if a truss is symmetrical the good point is you can find only half of the member and you can just write that it is symmetrical to the right side and all others you can just write. So at the end you can write all these forces here on the truss and just label it the whole truss even if it is symmetrical just label the whole truss. This is how you solve a truss which is symmetrical with the method of joints to find internal forces in each member.